Hello developers, I bring you yet another exciting web development course. Get ready to elevate your coding game by building a remarkable Tinder clone dating app with Lavo, LiveWire, Alpine and Tailwind for a unique and qualified design. We'll first start by creating a landing page that is identical to the actual Tinder using Tailwind CSS. We'll create some navigation links here with the language and login button and we're also adding the actual Tinder hero image in the background here which is fixed. And if you scroll down, we're also going to create a testimony section where users can talk about their testimonials and their experiences using this application. And right here, if you go to login, Upon landing on this app page, users will access the tab section facilitating seamless navigation between matches and messages as you can see right here. Matches will be generated automatically. Messages right here are going to appear instantly ensuring smooth communication flow without disruptions. And in order to enhance user engagement, we'll replicate Tinder's iconic design elements such as the orange top left background here which is gradient and the icons themselves. So right here in the messages, we're going to show the user avatar, the name and the actual message if it is read or not. And also here on the matches, we're going to have a list of users that we have matched with, with some dummy images of course, and the actual names from the database. And right here on the right, we're going to create an amazing swiper, leveraging the dynamic capabilities of Alpine.js. We'll construct an extraordinary swiper with minimal code. The swiper will showcase user names, the description, and other information enriching the user experience. Users can effortlessly swipe left, right, up, facilitated by a visually intuitive indicator as they scroll. For example, here if I scroll left I'm gonna get an indicator saying nope here and if I scroll right I'm gonna get an indicator saying like and as well if I swipe up I'm gonna get a super like we're going to experience a smooth pullback effect for incomplete swipe for example here if I scroll left and then I release it it's gonna pull back smoothly because the swipe did not activate and if I scroll right without activating the swipe it's gonna pull back same as if I go down or up we're going to create our custom carousel crafted with Alpine.js which allows navigation through images. Here I can scroll through this user's images easily and use the pagination on top and I'm going to do this easily using Alpine.js. Additionally, we're going to have buttons below in the swiper to enable users to trigger the swipe actions. For example, here if I want to swipe right, I'll just click on this like and it's going to go right and as you can see, I have a match. I'm going to have the option to either go to the chat to start chatting or continue swiping. I'm going to continue swiping here and scroll to the left using this action and to the up and I'm going to get a match. Additionally, I can also just drag this in order to activate a swipe action. I can drag up and I can drag right. So this user has a lot of matches. Furthermore, if I click on this icon right here, we're going to switch to a profile section for this user. We'll create a carousel feature integrated into the profile to facilitate effortless navigation through the user's images like that, just like the actual swiper card. We'll also add a button to return to the swiping container right here. If I click, I'm going to return to this user and if I click again, I'm going to come back to the profile section. We're going to delve into dynamic user details right here, name, the profession, the city, the description, including the languages, the basic information and the lifestyle of this user. And last but not the least, here as you can see down, we're going to have actions that are the same as in the swipe container. So we can click left, right or up. Here if I click swipe left, it's gonna, gonna have the ability to swipe left or right for each user. And now let's talk about the matches. For example, on this user, if I swipe right, here upon finding a match, a model pop-up will appear notifying users of the match, prompting them to start a conversation or continue swiping here. Users can seamlessly continue swiping and when a match is found, they can initiate a conversation and be redirected to a chat system. This streamlined process ensures users can easily transition from finding a match to engaging in conversation without interruptions. For example, here if I click send a message, we're going to be redirected to our chat system and we're going to create a dynamic chat interface that mirrors the essence of a real dating app with carefully placed colors and icons that blur the line between the reality and the clone. And in this chat, we'll design a header section right here featuring the user's avatar, name, actions, and we're also going to craft a chat body where messages will be organized belonging to both the authenticated user and their match, ensuring clarity and ease of use. Here I can send a new message saying hello, you see, my messages are going to appear here and are going to be updated on this chat list automatically without any paid refreshes. Additionally, we'll design a footer section for composing and sending messages to our match, which will be disabled automatically if the chat is empty. And if I add some data, 
it's going to be clickable and I can send more messages. Right now, let me show you how this chat system works. For example, here, I'm logged in with a different user who has a match with this user. Here, I can send a new message saying, new message, and the message is going to be received here automatically without refreshing this page, thereby streamlining real-time communication between users. I can click there, and I can start chatting with this other user. I can send a new message saying, I see you. I see for you. Awesome. And if I refresh that page, you see that our messages are still going to be there. And I can send more messages. And they're going to be in real time without me refreshing the page. So this is amazing. And if I increase that page, here we're going to be able to actually scroll or rather load more messages as we scroll to the top of the page. If, for example, if I go to this conversation with a lot of messages, watch as I scroll on the top of the page here. You see, we're going to load more messages easily using Alpine and Livewire so as to facilitate an actual chat application which is working smoothly. Last but not the least, this chat section is going to include a profile section just like in the swipe component so we can show the user we're chatting with. As you can see, the name here is the same as on top here. And we'll be able to actually make use of this carousel so we can scroll through images seamlessly. Down here, if I scroll to the bottom, you can see that I'm also going to have the ability to actually unmatch this user and if I click here it's gonna come a prompt saying are you sure and if I click OK it's going to delete this match and scroll me back to my matches. This is just a tip of the iceberg. Our course offers an exhilarating journey that will elevate your skills as a full stack web developer. What better way to become an expert by tackling challenging topics such as events, listeners, photo upload, real time communications, and single page application navigation with LiveWire? Join us in this course and let's embark on this exciting journey together. So, see you guys in the course.